All right, so I finally finished this uh, Bowie knife project. And uh, I think it came out pretty good. Just give you a final uh, close up look at it. Just finished up the sheath on Christmas Eve. Um, Yep, not too shabby, I think. Uh, it was a tough project. Took a long time. Uh, kind of glad it's done, but um, it was pretty interesting. It was a challenge. Um, the full tang wasn't easy to do. But uh, you can kind of see how that works there. There's a little bit of uh, steel exposed there. Where the uh, you know the slot in the guard has to be wide enough to clear the widest part of the handle, and then it fits up on this wide part up here. Some nice walnut scales on there, and uh, tried a uh, a material I haven't used before. I think it came out pretty well, and that's this. Um, this vulcanized fiber spacer material around the wood. It's kind of hard to see on camera here. It's subtle, but it basically makes a black line around the around the wood. And um, I think that give it kinds of a kind of gives it a a touch of class. Um, so anyways, we'll see how we did with the, uh, the requirements for this project. If I can find my ruler, I misplaced it here. Uh, the customer asked for a 12 inch cutting edge and I think we've done that pretty handily. And uh, he wanted it to be two and a half inches wide and on that one, I'm just a hair short. That's uh, about an eighth of an inch short. I made this from uh, two inch wide stock. I was counting on it expanding. Um, my usual uh, bowies that I make, I use one and a half inch wide steel stock, and it expands out to about one and seven eighths. And I thought that starting with two inch stock, I'd you know, having that extra material in there would get me that extra eighth of an inch of uh, expansion, but it didn't quite make it. Apparently, it uh, stretched out in length uh, a bit more than the narrower stock does, um, but pretty close. Uh, the finish, I would call it a a pretty fine finish for me. Uh, it's definitely not perfect. It does have a few little beauty marks here and there. Uh, it was just little spots where maybe some scale got hammered in and it was just a little too deep to, uh, to grind out. The worst of it's down here, kind of in the Ricasso area. Um, But, um, you know, it, uh, it looks like a, a hand-forged knife, you know, it's not, not quite, uh, you know, machine-made perfect, so, uh, hopefully, you don't mind that too much, um, and the sheath, some, uh, hand tooling on there, basket weave pattern. It's a pretty heavy duty uh, 8 to 9 ounce leather. And that ought to hold up pretty good. So, there we go. And I think 
gonna be making some small knives for a while. Uh, don't ask me to make a Bowie for you for a while. Uh, I'm gonna work on some Pucos and maybe some other uh, small hunting knives and uh, I'll take a take a bit of a break from these big ones. Alright, I'll talk to you later.